Alright, all Pet Bike Mike. Yeah, please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, I see that I'm up to, you know, as of last count, like 221 subscribers. That's, that's wonderful. Thank you all. I appreciate it. It, it really, uh, it's really phenomenal getting to see, you know, people actually subscribing and all that. It's, it's wonderful. Uh, so, past that, as you can see, I'm on the KTM. Uh, you know, so yeah, I'm making content with it still, as you can see. You're welcome. You know, uh, hopefully it's good stuff still. Uh, interesting topic though, since we're talking about KTM. So, on a closed course environment, you know, where it's perfectly legal to do such things. And, because for some reason people don't think I actually use this bike to actively kill myself, I guess, you know, weaving through traffic for some reason, because I guess that's the only reason to have a bike like this. But either way, ha 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 ha, throwing shade, ha ha ha. Um, uh, well, there goes my buddy. All right, so, uh, yeah, so on a closed course environment where it's perfectly legal to do so, in sport mode, this thing can only get up to about 145. On track mode, also in a closed course environment, the best that I've seen is 147, which you know pretty good which is pretty good um obviously like I said a closed course environment so you know it's not like I'm doing anything sketchy uh when I'm also on a closed course again I'm gonna try street and rain mode and try to see if there is also a discrepancy in the mile an hour that it's able to hit uh so yeah that's one thing that's interesting that I've noticed with the bike um, oh by the way gonna bike also bike related gonna try to get my girlfriend into motorcycles like obviously she rides on the back of mine but uh, I um, been talking about maybe getting her want to um, you know, like her own bike, you know, which would be cool. So getting her to take like a basic rider course, which that would be phenomenal. Which, you know, the reason I was even really, like I've been kind of thinking this a little bit, but the reason I've been thinking about maybe trying to get her a Grom is before like a Z125 for cheap, you know, cause that it's, you know, not a big deal if you drop it, but you know, the, uh, the person from the other day in my video that had the Grom, the big four Grom that, you know, hated. You know, I liked his Grom. I thought it was kind of cool and I thought it would be a good, uh, beginner bike. You know, not the big four version, but like, you know, like just the basic 125 would be pretty cool for my girlfriend to learn how to ride one. So that's been something that me and her kind of like talked about here and there about getting her into a basic rider course. Um... You know, it'd be, it'd be cool to be able to ride with her and stuff like that. You know, bring her into the fold. Uh, let's see. Uh, Non-bike related. Uh, hopefully getting the, uh, my Mark 7 GLI tuned. Uh, Volkswagen GLI. It's a phenomenal car. Even in its stock form. Uh, so, thinking about getting it tuned with the uh, APR Plus tune, which it's great because they give you pretty much like the equivalent of the factory warranty, you know, uh, which is nice. And even on forums, people will like have these cars tuned and pretty much they're still super reliable, which that's phenomenal. That's kind of what I want. Something a little bit has a bit more power, but still reliable. Because uh, the plus 
brake is about an 87 octane tune, but it bumps the car from like 228, you know, foot uh, horsepower, 268 foot pound of torque, up to 290 horsepower, 320 foot pound of torque, which, you know, pretty hardcore jump. And the fact that, you know, it'll still have a warranty. That's pretty phenomenal. I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm just checking my camera to make sure that it's still running because I've been having problems with the battery today. Um, going on. Uh, also been looking at wheels and tires because the stock tires that come on the GLI, terrible. They're some hand-cooked Grand Touring tires, which I need, like, better than that. So, uh, I've been looking at wheels, which are the APR A02 in bronze. Beautiful, beautiful wheel, and I think it would look really good on a, on a black uh, car. Um, you know, so definitely been considering that. Tires, I'm not 100% sure yet. Like, I've heard really good things about the Continental DWS 8, uh, not 8, uh, 06, which is really good. Um, what else, what else? The, or there's a, like, but those are all seasons. Uh, or I could go up to these Falcon, um, I don't know what all the numbers and letters are after, but it's a, like, max summer tire, max performance summer tire or something like that. Pretty hardcore. And, uh been thinking about that since you know the tires that we have even though they're kind of crap they at least have a lot of tread life left at least for winter time use uh, but I would actually go up to a bigger tire size because the stock is 225 45 18 like the new like the new size I'd go up to like a 245 70 18 just because like um, you know, wider tire, it, you know, give like the better performance and all that other stuff, but, uh, yeah, um, that'd be pretty awesome. That looks like a cop behind me, so I gotta drive somewhat sane. Um, what else, what else? Uh, besides, so, you know, a little bit wider tire, a little bit lower profile, but, you know, that way it's gonna, it's, like I did a tire size calculator and it um you know me doing that like it is wider but the circumference of the tire isn't much different like at like according to the calculator at a hundred mile an hour it would only be one mile an hour short so you know like the speedometer would read a hundred but I would only be doing 99 which you know, so such a small variance like that isn't a big deal. Like, that's nothing, you know. I can't complain about that at all. Um, so that'd be kind of nice. Uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else is interesting and new? But, you know, like I said, I'm making content on the KTM still, you know. Because I know there was a couple people that were upset that I might not make more content, but... You know, I, here's the thing, is like, I'm still going to make content on it, because, you know, I got, I'm going to ride it, it's not like I wouldn't ride this thing, you know, like, yeah, it might not make me, you know, like, happy, happy, but it's, obviously I'm still going to ride it, I'm still going to, you know, Try to enjoy it when and as I can, so. Still don't know why people think that I have to ride it a certain way for me to own a bike like this. I don't know, that was weird. But, you know, because here's my thing. All right, you know, I guess you can call this controversial too, but like, you know, like the thing is, if I'm going to drive crazy, like, you know what I mean? Like, why would I post it? You know, like, that's just asking for trouble, you know, like, it's not worth 
what, for the clout to show off, you know, one line, yeah, that, that gets you hurt, you know, and obviously, you know, I don't know, it's, it's, it's not worth it, you know, also, I don't feel like dying, you know, like, I don't need to be dodging and weaving through traffic and, you know, going 150 mile an hour to prove that I bought this bike for a reason or that I deserve to have a bike like this or, you know, of a sport variant, you know, it's, it, it doesn't make sense, you know, but I ride it well enough for what it is, you know. Uh, let's see, what else? What's been on my mind the past little bit? Um, uh, so, hopefully the video over the next little bit, because I know I double posted yesterday, or the day before, or whenever this gets posted, but I posted two videos. One kind of like, uh, you know, like the sanity, let me explain, and then the... Uh, you know, like surprise encounter and gravel is your friend. You're like, I post those, you know, within an hour of each other, which I know it's, I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did because, you know, the one, this video just wasn't really worth, like, just kind of like having its own, you know, like just a sanity video because it's like, let's be honest, like, I, You know, it's a, it was a small little eight minute video and it was just mostly just kind of, kind of, I don't know, just not really explain, like I guess it was kind of explaining, but it was also just like me talking about the whole situation and like why like it's, and just my mental space behind it. And then the other video was actually my fun, you know, like normal style video, which you know, like I said, if I wouldn't have double posted, it would probably gotten better views so far. Who knows? I don't know. It's, it's life. But, um, the person from the video... Uh, I fucked up. So there you go. See, look at that. Haha. Uh -huh. You're the crazy part that you all accuse me of never actually being. Uh... I just didn't feel like sitting in that traffic. I'll do back roads. Because, um... Oh, speaking about traffic. So, obviously, you don't record such things, but... Because it's not worth it, especially when it's illegal in your area. But I had a question about lane splitting. And, you know... And it, it's illegal in my area. And, um... So I guess, like, the thing is about it, it's like... When you're in like hardcore traffic, like what I was in earlier today, I did kind of lane split, even though it's illegal. It was one of those that, it was, it was like, uh, according to like the GPS, it was like almost like a 30 minute like, like, you know, thing, solid red, the whole nine, which, it, it was bad. Uh, I was able to get through it in 11 minutes because I, I wasn't like splitting hard, like I wasn't just cutting between people because once again, that's, especially in an area where it's illegal and people don't seem to like it around here because, you know, they're always trying to run you over anyway. Um, uh, it, it, you know, I did it, but I was super, super careful about doing it just because I didn't want to I wasn't trying to get, you know, all jacked up and hurt, um, so, uh, yeah, so, lane splitting and, like, when it's really bad traffic, I, I definitely think it has its place, and, you know, like, like, even though it's, you know, like I reiterated a bunch of times, I know I'm talking circles, but, um, I feel like if a cop actually did see me doing it when it's like dead stop traffic like that, I, it, it really depends on the person, but like, 
I would hope that they would be like, ah, okay, I kind of understand the situation. I see why, like, like, it's not like I'm just doing it just to be a, you know, a prick. I'm doing it because it's like, I don't want to stand and s between all these cars and cook. So, you never know. It also depends on the cop whether they want to be, you know, rough about that, you know, especially around here. But, like I said, I don't do that stuff, like, on the regular. It's only in extreme situations. You know, and for the people that watch my videos in the States, is that kind of, like, is that kind of, like, your mentality about it? If, you know, like, the traffic's really terrible and you're able to, would you? Or are you going to sit there and cook to death, you know? I'm just kind of curious. Um, but, yeah. So, uh... Hopefully, 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 uh, I'll end up getting to make another video with, uh, that kid Hayden soon, you know. Maybe he'll, he'll reach out to me or I'll reach out to him and be like, hey, you trying to, trying to do some riding? You know, it'd be cool, because him on his little 189cc Grom, it was such a good match. It really was, for my KLX. Like, I don't know, it was... You know, it's like the equivalent of like my buddy like with his Ducati and this KTM. Like it would, it's a good mix. Like, you know, similar performance, you know, and just fun, flickable, you know, stuff like that. But yeah. I don't know. I know I like really did a like an information dump on you guys really quick, but I just wanted to do that just in case I had another battery malfunction. Because, you know, that's you know, that's, it's been rough. Because, like, I attempted to record a video, like, three times. And for some reason, like, even with my, um, battery backup being on, for some reason the GoPro just glitched, like, super hard. So, hopefully this one turns out A-OK -okay for us. You know? Yeah. But sounds like he has a quick shifter. Mm. But uh, yeah. So, yep, I brought it out of the garage. How I even wiped it down? Like that's just show like my dedication. Even though I'm not like truly in love with the bike, I still took the time. I wiped it down and everything to make it all pretty. I wiped the windshield, the whole nine. I even got the bugs off the mirrors. Like, hey, there's some dedication to be had there, you know? <sighs> but yeah. But so that's kind of, that's kind of where we're at in life right now, so. I guess you could call it an issue, or it was a weird quirk that happened, but um, while I was riding with my buddy, uh, the train, you know, we got caught at, you know, train tracks, so, you know, you know, that's life, you know, it's whatever. I sat there, hit the, you know, the kill switch, and I was just chilling there for a while. Well, as the train finished up and we were about to get going, I tried to hit the starter. It came up on the dash key failure and I was just like what is that I've never seen that jump before but I was like that that would suck see I do ride it like a sport bike I'm sorry I, I need to stop being an ass but, you know, one of them things. I don't like adventure bikes, by the way. You know, I kind of don't. Like, they're way too tall. I'm, I'm short. I'm a short king, don't you know? I am a short king. I cannot be doing no adventure bike. 
the shit's way too tall. Like, for most adventure bikes, you almost gotta be like six and a half foot tall. Like, and here I am, you little five foot ten me, you know, that's, I can't be doing stuff like that, you know. <sighs> but yeah, so, you know, just wanted to throw that out there in case people were wondering. I am short. I cannot even flat foot this bike. I have to tippy toe. Unless, you know, I, you know, do like the supermoto, just kind of slide off the side so I can put my foot down. Like, <sighs> which, speaking about that, I do actually need to get stickers and stuff made. Like, I've looked at like uh, crickets, they're super expensive, but, um, I don't know, like, or I need to figure out where I can, like, maybe get stickers made, because, like, I've gone to a couple bike nights, I've gone to car meets, I've gone, like, every different place, but it'd be nice to actually have, like, you know, like, my handle or something on the bike, so, you know, like, if people are walking past my bike and looking, they'll be like, ah, look at that, pick bike Mike, alright, cool, you know, let's see what, what he's about, you know, so, hopefully. Hopefully. Alrighty. Well, I'm probably going to cut the video uh, probably around here just because I don't want it to be like a 30 minute long video or 15 or I don't know. 15 seems to be the magic number if I can make that happen. But either way. Alrighty, y'all. Pit bike mic out. Yup. Peace.